let's now discuss about the model 1 architecture of java ee model 1 is kind of an historical architecture i mean this was an architecture which was used when java ee came in for the first time when we started developing web applications with java that's when we used the model 1 architecture in those days there were no servlets so what used to happen is you directly direct a request from the browser to a jsp and the jsp would directly talk to the business layer and it would send the response back to the browser the new request would go probably to a different jsp and that jsp would handle the request directly by calling any business things that it needs to call and returning the response back so jsps were kind of the central pieces as you would know jsps would actually compile to a servlet so jsp is nothing but a servlet in the model 1 architecture jsps became really huge because they had to handle the view logic i mean how to show the information on the page as well as they had a lot of business logic in them so they have a lot of java code in them as well so therefore these jsps grew huge 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 and they became unmaintainable i would really doubt if there are any model 1 architecture applications which are running in production right now the model 1 architecture an architecture where all the requests used to go to the jsps jsps used to handle the complete request and give the response back to the browser thanks for joining more than a million students who are learning from us at in 28 minutes we defined a learning road map for java and front end developers we created more than 25 courses covering all the topics that you are seeing on the screen there are four things you can do to make best use of these courses number one is udemy you'll find a link in the description of the video to our udemy profile we are teaching a lot of courses on udemy and most of them are free number two visit our website www.in28minutes.com you'd find tons of information including how you can register for our trainings and the link to udemy and our github code as well number three visit our github repository with more than 20 repositories covering varied examples it's a comprehensive source of information and code. Last but not the least, you'll find a set of discount codes for all our Udemy courses in the description as well. Feel free to use them. Good luck from the team here at In28Minutes, your destination for high quality step-by-step -step courses.